Hey, what's up guys? My name is the Paperboy and this is another video that I'm going to be showing you guys. But um yeah, I know I haven't posted it in a while, but who cares? My personal life doesn't have to do with you. Gosh. All right. So, um we're going to be talking about the Vector K10 in this video and it is my favorite gun so far and it is also prob in my opinion the most underrated gun in this game. Not a lot of people use it. Nobody really admires how awesome this gun is in my opinion I like it better than the PDW I hate the PDW with so much of my heart um, not only is it a horrible gun but I just think it's over overused um, but um anyways so the Victor K10 has a 14 fire rate 14 out of 20 fire rate 11 out of 10 damage 5 out of 10 range and 14 out of 20 um, accuracy so, as you can see, the range is where this gun really sucks. But, um, it, it, personally, it doesn't feel like the range is that bad. But, um, at really, really long ranges, like, you can't get a long shot with this gun. But, at really long ranges, it, it suffers a lot. So, um, this gun is really good at close quarters and, um, medium ranges. So, personally, I really like this gun for its, um really fat you can really run pretty fast with it and um i like i like how it reloads <laughs> i don't know if that's a little bit biased but um so yeah if you want to rewind and look at that little stats video uh, that little stats thing but um my channel's not about a whole bunch of stats i just wanted to kind of show you that really quick but um i'm more of a more of a personal commentator not uh information and you know that kind of stuff so um yeah, the Vector K10 I discovered because I was searching for different guns. I had like, there's like four different guns that I thought were going to be my favorite. At first I thought it was a Type 25, then I thought it was going to be the MSMC, then the AN94, biggest mistake of my life, AN94, I think it's really bad. I don't know why I thought that was a good gun, but um, AN94, and then um, after that I kind of decided to go look for some more guns. Um, so... Then I was playing this game, and then this guy kept killing me, and he was just beasting it up. I, he was going, like, flawless, like, 20 and 0. And then I was like, there's no way this guy can be doing this good um, with just some ordinary gun. So then I picked up his gun, and it, what was the gun? It was the Vector K10. It had um, FMJ and extended mags. And so, yeah, I really liked that gun. I picked it up. I got, like, a few kills with it, and then I died. And then I quit. I rage quit because I was doing really bad. And then um, I put this class on. Uh, this is in the first game, but uh, you know, I put I put a class on and I started playing with it, and I really liked it. So now it is my favorite gun. Okay, so usually the setup that I use is the following. Okay, so um, usually my two favorite um, attachments that I use on it are the silencer and the EOTech sight. Um, the EOTech sight you can use. Uh, you can use the the site you press triangle on the side and then you have a whole bunch of different site options but the site that I use is the um, hit mark and the EO site so um yeah those are the two that I like the most um the EO site I like the best because it I don't know it's just red so um you know I just I just like the red I don't like how different colors and whatever I don't like I don't like that but I wish you could actually change the colors that would be really cool but, um, so yeah, uh, Vector K10. And then the perks that I use, um, the first one is usually Hardline or Flax Jacket. The second one is Toughness or Scavenger. And then the third, third perks, I always use the uh, same perks for, third, third perk, I always leave the same for no matter what gun I'm using, um, no matter what class. It's always extend, extreme conditioning and, um, Tactical mask. Okay, I can't live without those two perks. Those are my two necessity perks. Extreme conditioning I always use because in this game it seems like um, sprinting just runs out so fast, and I hate just having to walk everywhere. So I usually put extreme conditioning just so I can go a little bit faster and feel like I'm moving faster. And then um, tactical mask just because shock charges are everywhere now because people love those things. Um, but I just have tactical mass just because, and I usually do use flag strike instead of hardline, but unfortunately I don't have flag strike because I just prestiged, so I have to wait to like level 32 or something to get it. 
Um, but yeah, hardline is really good too because you want you want you want to get those um, UAVs because they're really expensive now. So um, yeah, those are my two those are my two favorite setups. And um, you know everything else you can use whatever you want. You, you Semtex or Frag doesn't really matter. I prefer I prefer Frag just because um, you know you can cook it and you can throw it in places without them actually knowing you know that it's gonna explode right in front of you and right under your feet like that one just did. But um, you can either cook it or you can decide how long you want it to, you know, last. So that's pretty cool. That's why I like the frags a little better. But so if you want to put on frags, go ahead and be my guest. And um, equipments or um, the tactical grenades or whatever, those I don't have on right now because I replaced those for another perk, which is um, extreme conditioning. But um, yeah. And suppressor, you don't really have to have suppressor on. I just have suppressor on because um, it's it keeps me silenced, and I usually play the objective, and I don't really want people knowing where I am because that always gets me killed. So um, if I don't have a silencer on, then I can't you know do anything. But my other option is you know a more objective play that um, I'm gonna be on the bomb. I'm gonna be on the B flag the whole time, so it doesn't matter if people know where I am because I'm already. Out there, you know, I'm already putting myself out there. So this class is very good because, um, um, you know, I really like it and it's very good. So this is what it is it's the um, fast mags and um, uh, what is it? Laser sight. The laser sight. So those are two very good combinations because the laser sight you can hit fire with it like from across the map. It's so much better than steady aim because you know it ha actually has a laser on it, so more accurate. And um, hit firing with the vector is very useful. Even if you don't have a laser sight on. I don't even have a laser sight on right now. And I'm hit firing pretty good. Like right there. I just hit fired all those bozos. But um, you know, even without a laser sight. You can still hit fire with this gun very well. So you're going to want to use those. If you're a more objective player. And this setup is for a more um, kill whore setup. But I use this setup for you know just whatever. I just like the EOTech sight. Because I like it so much better than the... um than the iron sights. I don't really like the iron sights. It's it's too I don't know. I don't really like it. It's, it looks a little weird. So the Vector K10 is very underrated because not a lot of people know um they don't really pay attention to this gun. Everybody's like, oh the PDW and the MSMC are the best guns in the game and then people are like, oh yeah, let's go use that gun. And then people that just got the game, like, you know, people that um are gonna get it on Christmas, they're gonna probably use the PDW and the MSMC because that's what everybody says is the best gun in the game. And, um, you know, I overlooked the K-10 right when I got the game just because, um, I don't know, it just, it, some guns in Call of Duty nobody really ever pays attention to, and they just kind of overlook. And, uh, like in Modern Warfare 2, I never, I never, um, looked at the Vector in Modern Warfare 2, I usually just, you know, looked at the a a ACR and those kind of guns, because that's what everybody was using, so I just used that because it looked really good, but, um, you know, once I tried using the Vector in Modern Warfare 2, I really liked it, and same in this game. This game, it's very good. So, if you're looking for a new gun, and you're really bored of the PDW, and the MSMC, and the Type 25, and all those guns, then go ha go ahead and look at this gun. Alright, so this is my segment of underrated guns, and yeah. So, the other underrated gun that is really good, which I'm not really going to go in depth about it, but um... It is the MTAR, alright, the MTAR, I really like it too, and not a lot of people are using it, but I've seen Woody using it a lot, and he really likes it, but other than that, people really aren't using it, everybody's just, just using the submachine guns, and if you use a assault rifle, it's usually probably like Type 25 or something. So, um, yeah guys, my name is Paperboy, and uh, click that like button, just because it's free. And it would mean a lot to me because I'm a small channel and whatever. So, um, my guy, ha! Ah, why am I saying my guys? I said that in my last video too. My guys, you know, whatever. Anyways, guys, my name is Paperboy and peace out.